everyone how are you doing uh, it's been ages since i have done an update video on here so i thought today i was going to do that just just a real quick one uh, i'm at the horse paddock as you can see i am just down here to feed my little pony because i only have the one now and muck out and do all that stuff we are in winter now and uh the wind today is freezing it's extremely cold so um, I'm all rugged up for the warm. And I just wanted to give you a little quick update on my hair. So you can't actually really see because I have this this on. But um, I am still growing out my grey hair. You might be able to see. <gasps> Look at that. So this bit's all still dyed black. But I don't know. I've probably got like about that much or so. That's my natural grey colour. I'm absolutely loving it. Absolutely loving it. I wish I had followed through a few years ago when I decided I was going to go all natural and all grey and stick with it but hi ho um we live and learn so anyway first off how are you all doing with this whole COVID-19 mess um we're we're really lucky we are really lucky here in New Zealand so I haven't excuse me I haven't heard the news today Sorry, I thought someone was coming. I haven't heard the news today. But as of yesterday, I think yesterday was day 20 of no new cases. And we have no active cases either. So hopefully we have completely eradicated this awful virus. Uh, I think in total we had like just over 1,500 cases and we had around about 22 deaths. And unfortunately they were elderly people that had really compromised health so awful awful the whole thing is just awful but we're lucky we have been getting back on track with the country and our economies opening up I worked all the way through lockdown we went into lockdown I think in March I can't remember because every day kind of blended into the next but I think we went in sort of in the 24th I can't remember anyway it was in March I think and I worked all the way through lockdown in fact I worked I think it was like 26 days straight without a break. That was interesting. Um, yeah, and so I was lucky. I am an essential worker. So aside from, you know, having the country locked down and, and all that kind of thing, it, nothing really changed like financially for us. We didn't lose our jobs or, or anything like that. So we've been really, really fortunate. And obviously being quite an isolated country, that helps. And um, we don't have physical borders, you know, we just have like lots of oceans surrounding us so um we've been really really blessed and really lucky but i know that that's not the, the case for everyone so i hope that you've come through as unscathed as as possible the world is a crazy place right now it's a crazy place lots of changes are happening and it's a bit scary um in a way i think but anyway um i won't bore you anymore i just wanted to sort of start by i'm hoping that you know you've come through as unscathed as possible because this whole this whole virus thing has it's been a real game changer hasn't it um the world over so okay um right so i will get on to this and um keep so how is the weather at your guys neck of the woods in your guys neck of the woods I should say must admit I am um, I'm kind of looking forward to spring already and we are only just sort of in the early stages of winter but yeah I'm uh, kind of over it already <laughs> afternoon Harry McCleary <laughs> here you go Hmm. Uh, right, so hopefully you can hear me and it's not too windy. My hands are like blocks of ice. So you may have noticed that I have changed my name on here. I decided that I just wanted a completely fresh start. Uh, I named, well I've had a few name changes on here. So previous to this, this current name, it was called the Poison Moon Apocryphary and I Hang on, we'll go into the barn, it's a little bit breezy. So, name change. The name that I had previous to this one was, is the name of my soap. 
business. And when I changed it over to that name, I was going to just do soap related stuff on here. I wasn't going to do any more witchy stuff or any anything else other than just soap stuff because I was really exhausted of just the drama of the last few years and I didn't want any part of it. But a long time ago, quite a wee while ago, I want to say quite a few months ago, quite out of practice and don't really know what I'm saying. Uh, anyway, so I gave up on that idea because there are so many soap makers on here and there's so many channels doing that kind of thing and I thought, well, I'm not really going to be able to add anything to that and I'm still, even though I've been making soap for a long time, I'm still very much an amateur or I consider myself very much an amateur. So. I gave up on that idea and then I had this sort of quite long hiatus of doing anything and you know I just thought oh, I want to I want to come back to YouTube I miss doing YouTube videos and I miss connecting with people especially at the moment with everything being the way it is so here we are and I wanted a name that was completely different from anything that I had ever had before and that kind of encapsulated my life a little bit more accurately I guess so I don't know if that makes any sense but there it is so we are now called Hemlock House and it's a fresh start and I have been going through and getting rid of videos that I don't want on here um, I have some videos of my horses quite a few that I've privated because I just I don't know uh, losing Hara really did have a huge effect on me and I just kind of want them for my own private viewing if that makes any sense so Anyway, uh, I do have plans for this channel. I'm I'm not going to be doing the sort of videos that I did in the past. So I don't want to be doing constant haul videos and oh look what I brought and and whatnot because I really don't buy all that much anymore. That's been one big change that I have implemented this year. I have stopped needless spending. I do still go thrift shopping though, and I will say that is the one thing that I have missed most out of this whole COVID nineteen and the lockdown. And it sounds like such a first world problem, and I know, but I have so missed going to the plant shop and going thrift shopping because I did both of those every week. It would be very rare that I didn't go to the plant shop or thrift shopping at least once or twice a week. And I had quite a lot of withdrawals. So I am thrilled that I can, I can do that again. In fact, the other day I picked up some awesome little bits and pieces from the thrift shop. Um, I've got a terrarium that I'm going to do this weekend. I'm catching up with a friend tomorrow and I didn't get a chance to do it today because today we ended up being quite busy. So anyway, whatever. Um, yeah, so that's that's my plan. So I, I'll i definitely, you know, I want to get back into doing fun videos, witchy videos and gardening videos and I have got quite a few ideas for things and I know I have said this a lot in the past I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that and it never eventuates but I was in a really bad headspace back then um, I don't want to go into and dredge everything up but yeah I was in a pretty bad headspace and I was a pretty toxic person to be fair I've done a lot of work on myself over the last few months heaps heaps of work a lot of shadow work a lot of self-examination and I'm finally feeling that I am coming out the other side thankfully a much better person than what I was when I went in so anyway I think I've babbled enough I don't want to make this video too long it's absolutely freezing and I'd quite like to get home and I still have to pick up poo so I will carry on and I guess yeah I will just see you guys the next one and if you have any video recommendations then leave them down below because I would love to hear them um, I know that I used to get quite a few requests for gardening type videos so I can't do much of that at the moment obviously with it being winter but but yeah um, I'm happy to take suggestions so I will catch you later okay bye Friends, if they're not eating, they're pooing.
Hello everyone, how are you doing? It's been ages since I have done um, Hello everyone, how, how, so where was I? Um, so name change on here. The name that I had previous to this, I 